ancient fever The kind that can't be measured by degrees This past summer marked the Fishing Club's 12th trip to Black Bear Lodge in Red Lake, Ontario, Canada. Great school van. We Red took van. off August 10th from RB at 5.30 a.m. After stops in Janesville and Eau Claire, Wisconsin for breakfast and lunch, we stopped for another two hours in Virginia, Minnesota to stretch our legs and eat supper. So far we've gone about 500 miles. We'll drive another 40 miles to Orr, Minnesota for a night's rest before traveling the remaining 350 miles to the lodge. There's 26 in the group this year. Pete Pavlou, Kurt's father, got us off to a good start with this 14 and a half pound northern. He caught it right out in front of the lodge about an hour after supper the first night in camp. Here's Laura first. This is the first time that uh, we've had a female make the Lunker Club up here at Black Bear. It's uh, August the 12th, 1991. And uh, Loris, we'd like to have you tell us a little bit about that fish. Uh, first of all, uh, about what time of the day did you catch that? Uh, about 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock in the morning, huh? Can you uh, tell us what kind of a lure you were using when uh, you got it? A black and silver one. Uh, black and silver what? Spoon? What was it? Ray, what was that? Mm -hmm. Black and silver what? Uh, evil eye. And black and silver evil eye, huh? Kind of like a flutter spoon or a... Uh, he put up a good fight. Uh, how long did it take you to get him in? About 15 minutes. Do you, do you have any idea uh, how deep the water was uh, where you were uh, About getting? 60 feet. About 60 feet, and you're right down on the bottom uh, with a downrigger, huh? Uh-huh. And you say it took about 15 minutes to get it in. Uh, is that the biggest fish you've ever caught, Laura? Yes, it is. Uh, Very uh, big. Did your dad ever catch anything that big, Laura? I hope not. <laughs> You know, I, as I understand, he spent about five times as much money as you did uh, <laughs> and never caught anything half that big uh, last year. Good, uh, it's it Yeah, it's kind of hard to understand that, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'm really happy for you, Laura. That's a great fish. Thank and uh, I know you've got a good shot to, to win the lake trout pool. Good deal. <laughs> Even though Ray Flakus thinks that uh, that'll never hold up. Uh-uh. Kerry Campbell also proved that girls can catch fish with this nice lake trout of 10 pounds. I think the boys are just a little jealous. Tate Martin, fishing in Canada for the first time, shows off a nice northern. Art Kunzel, one of my former students from 1964, shows off some nice northerns. This old policeman is a better fisherman than he was a math student. It's August the 13th, 1991, down here at Black Bear. And what we have in front of us is a very happy Coach Ware. In a moment. Lunkers. Yeah, but yeah, there's five other lunkers in the room, but they don't have any fish. They're just cleaning some. I'm carrying, I'm, I'm taking Larry's fish. Yeah, let me see that. That's a pretty big fish, too. This is what Coach Ware's fish eats. You know, there he is, uh, very unhappy again. You know, most of the time he doesn't fish that much because he's up here making sure everybody else gets out to fish. But tonight he had an opportunity to go out and fish with one of the students. Tate Martin showed him just exactly what to use That's the right. Yes, Tate, Tate, Tate Martin Harris. is the one that netted this. Uh, Coach, how, how heavy is that fish? Seven and a half pounds, 27 inches long. What did you catch him on? Got him on a little Joe, uh, kind of a white fluorescent spinner. That's a seat. Don, you want to tell a little story about that first one we got? Well, the first Laker we caught today after about an hour and a half of trolling, you would think after all that time you'd uh, you would get you know get something a little different. Well, the fish came in and had two hooks in it. <laughs> it had my lure in its mouth and it had Coach Ware's hook in its mouth, but he brought it in on his pole. You figure that one out. <laughs> well, the second one I didn't even know I had on. I was gonna reel it in so I could take some video of Larry Pons who had one on and and I couldn't snap it loose from the downrigger uh, I just kept pumping it and pumping it and trying to snap it loose and 
all of a sudden I, I, there was a fish floating on top of the water. And here all I'd done is just kept uh, slamming it into him. It's, a, it's really a wonder that he didn't get off. Uh, Don, how can you explain that, uh, to these people out here why you and I are so successful at this lake trout fishing? Well, this fishing it takes a lot of patience. You just got to <laughs> sit on them and sit on them. And then you got to be a little foolish out there, too. <laughs> I think it takes more luck and foolishness than uh, than patience sometimes. I think we brought up more lake trout on the downward ball <laughs> than we did on our lures. I tell you, we get one on, it's like a Chinese fire drill in that boat, uh, <laughs> railing up each other's downriggers and uh, trying to get equipment out of the way so that we can uh, uh, pull the things in with the gout, uh, getting everything tangled up. And here's yeah, Mr. Pat Grogan, a science teacher and baseball, football, and, and uh, wrestling coach at RB. Up here at Black Bear Lodge for the first time, and guess what happened? Six pound lunker walleye. Pat, you want to tell us about this a little bit? Well, uh, I had, uh, we were trolling, and I was using a, um, a chrome worm harness, and I just pulled out a bologna sandwich and started eating it, and uh, had my rod in one hand and a bologna sandwich in my mouth, and all of a sudden a big jerk on my rod. <laughs> And I quick threw my sandwich down and... Which jerk are you talking about now? <laughs> well... The one in the water or the one in the boat? <laughs> the one with the food in his mouth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here's uh, and, uh, Carrie again. She gets a 10-pound laker a couple of days ago, and now you come up with a big northern. How much that weigh, Carrie? Eight pounds. Eight pounds. And what'd you catch it on, Carrie? A number five meps. Number five meps. What color? It was red and yellow. Red and yellow. Bucktail? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Bob, where'd you get it? Uh, where I get this? Yeah. In a secret spot, I can tell you that. In a secret spot? <laughs> at RB, we have no secrets. We share all the time, Carrie. We don't. Oh, Carrie, I don't We're know about that. We're sworn to secrecy. Okay. Who swore you to it? The people we throwed in yesterday. Oh, what? Well, tell us about that. What happened? <laughs> they broke down. We told them in. They... You mean some men from another camp broke down? Yes, Mr. And these two cute girls came along and towed them in. And what they and what they do because uh, of that? They gave us two lures and towed them in. A map was in the secret spot. Well, that's wonderful. Good job, Carrie. Thanks a lot. One of the major reasons for our yearly success is the adults who drive and chaperone the trip. Not only do they have a lot of fun fishing, but they really help the kids. Today they're preparing a shore lunch for everyone. The group caught over 100 walleyes last night, so today we're eating them. It may be raining or the sun may shine. You just open up your door and she's out there all the time. Slip on your shoes and let's go fishing. And we'll roll on down that river one more time. Yes, my bone shoes, and let's go fishing. Now, what is he tearing up at? And we'll roll on down that river one more time. While waiting for the fish to fry, Kurt Pavlou tries to entice a woodchuck out from underneath one of the old cabins. Uh, how was that uh, musky lake that you went into? That was pretty outstanding. Uh, we, we raised 32 muskie in one afternoon. Caught a, caught a muskie, that was about eight or nine pounds. A uh, pike, that was almost six. And then a walleye, it was a little over three. Yeah. So the fishing was pretty good. After supper Thursday night, many of the boats went right out in front of the lodge and caught walleyes. Jason, what do you have there? Got a four and a half pound walleye, 23 and a half inches. Caught him. Uh, Mouth of golden arm. <coughs> What'd you get him on, Jason? Uh, white crawler harness, three quarter ounce here. I don't let no job tie me down. Right. And I'll never get too old to get around. What is it? I want to die along the creek bank right away. Oh my like goodness. some old flipping pole. Oh, the upper Rest this oh, fishing good. fever in my that's soul. The fishing oh, fever. The kind that can't be measured oh, by degree. Fishing fever. There ain't no kind of cure for my disease. Oh, 
Friday night, Frank Sinise caught his first lunker, a six pound walleye. And Scott Hoffman pulled in a nice one too. Jim Zabladil, up for the eighth straight year, got his biggest walleye ever, a six and a quarter pounder. The fish cleaning house is a busy place every night. Look at those big northerns. Holy Toledo. The last morning, we tripped Mr. Grogan into thinking he had to sing for his breakfast. To finish off our last day at Black Bear, the RB adults cook steaks for everyone. When a true love dies, smoke gets the dry. <laughs> it's been another fun-filled week with memories to last a lifetime. We caught and released over 200 walleyes, northerns, and lake trout. We're already looking forward to next year.